What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use PDF Agile in order to edit PDF files and convert them from Word to PDF or from PDF to Word and even of course extract data from pictures, for example text and so on. Now PDF Agile does have a free trial available for Windows and it allows you to basically edit any PDF document, insert text into it, insert images, change colors and so on. Now as you probably know normally PDF documents are not editable once you write them and you save them in PDF, you shouldn't really be able to edit them unless it's a smart form or something like that. But with PDF Agile you basically can edit it, convert it and even create PDF documents from scratch. They also have a bunch of templates if you want to get started, for example for prenups or free corporate resolution templates, partnership agreement, LLC operating agreement and so on. Definitely check them out. Let's see the program in action. I have prepared a couple of documents over here and the PDF Agile document is available here. Once you install it, it looks like this. Now if you're familiar with office tools in general, this follows basically the same format. So let's open a PDF document, for example this one that is already available once you install the program, called UUU, which comes from Universal Update Utility. This one is actually a nice PDF to have in here because it already has a table in place and I can demonstrate how easily you can actually edit this table and of course do modifications to a PDF document. So by default you can see that we can select things in here but we cannot edit them. Nothing happens if we try to edit. But if you right click over here and press edit, now we are in editing mode. So we can actually edit this PDF file to do anything we want. So like this. And not only that, we can even change the formatting for this. For example, we can make it bold. We can select a different font like this. And even the color can be changed directly from the document. You can see it's now purple. Once you're done with it, you can easily save the document by going here to file save and save again. So that's basically it. And now the PDF file has those modifications. Now if you go ahead back here, I have a links document over here, which is basically a normal PDF file, which is also not editable. If we want to make this one editable completely in Word, all we have to do is to press PDF to Word over here and that's it. It's going to go to this window here where we have PDF to Word, to Excel, to PowerPoint, to Pictures, to Text, even to CAD. But we want to Word for now and as you can see you can select here Docs or Doc depending on what kind of Word you have. I have for example 2007 so that one accepts Docs. I'm gonna press Start in here and that's it. You can see it goes pretty fast and once you open it it actually starts in Microsoft Word. Word, and this is now a fully editable document in Microsoft Word that we can actually do anything we want with it. So yeah, it's that simple to actually convert from PDF to Word with this program here. Now you also have Word to PDF. If you want to convert, for example, from a Word document, have the links document over here, you drag it and drop it and you can make it to PDF. They also have Excel to PDF, they also have PowerPoint to PDF, image to PDF and so on. We have image to PDF, text to PDF and even CAD to PDF. I'm gonna go with Word to PDF, pressing here start conversion and that's it. As you can see, it's basically done almost instantly. So if you open it in folder, it looks like this. Now what else you can do? Well, let me actually close all these documents over here and I'm actually going to open a picture. So I'm going to open the file and I have here a picture. This one is an actual PNG file if I open it over here, which basically contains the table, but it's not editable. It's not a PDF file. It's a screenshot. So what if you want to extract the text from that screenshot? Well, it's pretty easy to do that. You press here image OCR and it shows these here and start identification. And as you can see, this is all the text that it found on the page and we can now export it and it says the file has been saved. I'm going to open the folder and now we have in here here the OCR.txt which we can open in WordPad for example and it shows all the text that we had. So if you needed any text from that table now you can get it with copy and paste. You no longer have to write it yourself or to copy it manually from the photo. Let's open again the links document file which is this one over here and if you want to watermark for example you press over here select a watermark and just add it and that's it. As you can see it's been watermarked in the background. Now if you want to protect the document you can do so as well. You can either sign it if you have a certificate, I don't currently have one, or you can encrypt the document with a password, let's say 1234, and this one will encrypt the document. So right now this document should be encrypted. I'm going to go ahead and try to open it and I'm going to show you that it is indeed encrypted. And as you can see when we try to open the document now, it says the document is encrypted, please enter the password. 
one, two, three, four, and we can open the document. It's as simple as that. You can remove the watermark if you want. And basically you can do page manipulation, odd pages, rotate them the way you want. And you can even annotate the pages and so on. So let me actually go back on this page. Here on the page, we can actually insert pages too. You press insert page and now this document has an additional page where you can basically insert text or write anything. I'm gonna go with an image this time. So I'm gonna insert an image and I'm gonna start with this table, which I'm gonna make smaller. And right now the links document also has a table as you can see from here, which was not part of the document. We can go here to background and also create a different background for the document. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make it a Word file. So I'm gonna go to PDF to Word and it's as simple as that with all the changes. I'm gonna write the password for the document and we can simply press start conversion. And now we should have a new Word file which basically contains our original PDF file with all the modifications we did. So let's open it in Word and as you can see, we have the links document over here and the second page that we added, which is the table picture. Now, if you want to go ahead here on comment, you can basically highlight various things. For example, these over here I want to highlight and you can definitely do so. You can wave line if you want to, you can even strike through this word over here and these. You can even highlight a specific area, for example, this over here, which I'm going to move like this and it's been highlighted. You can add little notes, you can add lines, you can even add arrows in order to point to specific areas of the document. And of course you can create basic shapes like ovals and circles and of course rectangles if you want to draw on it. And you even have a pencil that allows you to actually create markings on the document. It's a very good program if you want to actually modify PDF files on the cheap and you can actually modify modify a lot of PDF files and add a lot of things like notes. Then you can do actually a lot of PDF modifications, convert them, secure them, sign them with your certificate and so on. So it's actually quite great. Definitely check it out. There is a free trial available in the description down below and tell me what you think about it. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow and peace out.